Tuesday has been a cool day all across the region with the threat of wintry precipitation that didn't fully come to fruition for the southeast, but the cold air is sliding into the area tonight into the region. 34 degrees right now for Dothan, 28 for Tupelo. Birmingham's looking at similar conditions, but the main pool of cold air is in the Great Lakes region right now. Minus 24 in Minneapolis, minus 27 in Fargo. And when you factor in the wind up there, it's feeling like the negative 50s for lots of the region in that part of the country. 61% relative humidity is on the dry side along with the dry dew point temperature. So tomorrow morning it's going to be cold and with the wind staying in place out of the north at about five miles per hour, it is going to be feeling like the upper teens for some locations and we will be below freezing for most locations through tonight and into at least the nine o'clock hour when we will break into the lower to middle 30s and then going beyond that. It looks like our afternoon high temperatures with a mix of sun and clouds will be in the middle to upper 40s. There's a chance that a few spots could make it into the lower 50s, but don't count on that. It is going to be a rather cold day for Wednesday. It's going to be a cold night going into Thursday below freezing temperatures expected again. 34 Dothan. Some of the outlying locations will be in the upper 20s, but the rest of the work week we will have a gradual warming trend and especially when you look at the afternoon high temperatures will be back in the 50s for Thursday, 60s for Saturday and for Sunday and then Monday and Tuesday of next week. There's a pretty decent chance we will be looking at the lower 70s for a lot of locations in the southeast. We do have a frontal boundary moving through the midsection of the country, bringing some sh uh, snow shower activity to the Ohio River Valley. That front is going to be sliding in our direction, but it's just going to bring a reinforcing shot of drier air going through the day Thursday and into Friday. But as far as that precipitation not going to be coming in our direction, that front actually really going to be largely dying out, but that air will be able to slide in with high pressure sliding in over us through the day tomorrow, keeping the sky mostly clear. Then going into Thursday, Thursday, that high will begin to shift a little bit more to the east, and then by Friday we will have a southerly flow, allowing our temperatures to warm up back to where they should be, and then certainly for the weekend, even warmer temperatures are expected. No significant rain chances. There's just going to be the threat of some passing showers as the humidity levels increase going into the weekend. For tomorrow morning, starting out right at freezing, if not below freezing, staying that way in through the nine o'clock hour and then going into the afternoon with that northerly breeze staying in place. Those high temperatures middle to upper 40s for most of us in the area and with the breeze feeling even cooler out there at times and then already to the eight o'clock hour. Some of us will be cooling off into the middle to upper 30s, then cooling off even more than that going past midnight and then Thursday morning likely starting out right around freezing. Now as far as those temperatures for today, night those overnight lows neighborhood by neighborhood upper 20s factoring in the moisture or the the winds and the dry air the lack of moisture there it's going to be feeling even a little bit cooler with that slight breeze out of the north upper 40s to lower 50s for most of us hovering right at 49 degrees for us in Dothan. A little bit of extra sunshine might give you a better chance of having those temperatures warm up into the lower 50s, but for the most part, don't count on that going through the day. Warmer going into Thursday, Friday. The 60s do return Saturday and for Sunday feeling pretty good, pretty spring like with a few passing showers and then even warmer for next week, Mike, the lower 70s for Monday and Tuesday. So we have.